Hello, my beautiful Virgos. How y'all doing? All right, it's Lulu. And today, oh, I'm going to do your spiritual conversation. I do have the big girls rocking and popping today. All right? All right. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. You can like the video if you hear something that resonates with you. All right, because I'm not forcing you to like, share, or comment, but I would appreciate it. Thank you. Now then, any information that you need is in the description box. All right. Now then, thank you for your love and support. Port, 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 port. Okay, Virgo, what y'all got going on? Y'all must be feeling much like Virgos right now. I really like it. Ooh, something that's coming to the forefront of your awareness about something that may have had you all tied up here in the space of um, being um, feeling strapped for opportunities or what have you. Once you balanced out your yin and yang, you assessed your circle and took some time out in order to reevaluate in order for you to claim victory. Now then, uh, with the seven chakra, this is a huge download that has come in. There may be green eyes going around around you but you are in a space of appreciation deep gratitude uh, giving um, offering to what you need to in order for you to walk through the door of romance you have ascended master here that maybe you are working with someone is coming through very very strong here and you are in your truth in your power there's a decision that you may be um, needing to make here in the in the near future that has a lot to do with what it is that you've been working on or working toward Thank y'all. All right. Let's see what's going on, honey. What you got for Virgo's chair? Something is being revealed to you around this next moon phase or some moon phase about how um, you have to make self-care and self-love a priority, but also mending a broken heart. There's blossoming abundance here, a clearing of emotions and um, the heart chakra in order for you to welcome in love. But overall, there's rest and rejuvenation here or a much needed break that is coming in. And I know some of y'all, this is Virgo. Yes. It's not been working, whatever. But um, you've been working diligently on what it is that you are willing to walk away from here. There may be um, another earth sign here. So we got two earth signs here. <clears throat> Someone wants to offer you love. There may be a water sign offering you love as well as an earth sign offering you love or just those um, archetypes. Someone in those energies offering you some type of one person may be offering you stability when it comes to finances. The other person may be offering you emotional um, gratification or some shit like that. But I'm seeing here that there's some type of attachment to the past that you are going to have to make a major decision about. You're going to get a download when it's time for you to release yourself. It's kind of like seeing how something has courted with you. Hmm? All right. Let's get into the read. As if. What information do you have for these beautiful Virgos, honey? Ooh. See what I'm saying? So it's going to be some back and forth chat. Bloss blossoming abundance, which is a number three. Broken heart, which is a number nine. Let's get these out of the way. Bless, uh, broken heart. Goddess of the moon. Appreciation. Envy. Y'all, everybody today done got one of these cards. Either envy, deceit, or what's that other one? Hostilities. It's just, chat. don't give it no energy. Uh, seventh chakra, indecision. That's that decision that you're going to need to make. Attachment, there is that attachment. What the fuck, Virgo? And yin and yang. Balancing out that masculine and feminine, feminine energy. Taking an intuitive but logical approach to certain situations. Master number 22, 8, 9, and 3. Let's get into it. Oh, I didn't do this for uh, Leo. What information do you have for Virgo overall? Everybody got this today. I'm just going to leave this card out. Gaia activation. So apparently a lot of uh, people who are tuning in are going through this. Learning experiences, wisdom, transmission, as well as earth intelligence. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> now then, let's get into it. Blossoming abundance, appreciation, and indecision. I don't think that you're indecisive. I think that you are in a space where you um, are weighing the pros and cons and tuning in to spirit so that you can get that balancing out that um, intuitive logic, right? 
if that makes sense to you. That blossoming abundance is coming in at a time where you may have been back and forth with yourself when it comes to emotional issues, what it is that you are giving your attention to. Maybe it's your Mars placement that has a lot to do with that. But um, there's a, an even flow here of um, which direction you are in, where you are going, how you are going about things. I feel as though you are like, maybe some of y'all are counting y'all steps, or maybe you are in a space in that blossoming abundance energy where you are realizing um, more of what it is that you want and less, and you're not giving any attention to what you don't want at this time because that envy card and the yin and yang is bouncing out here as well. With that envy card, um, in this, the way that it just came up here for you all, it may have to do with you thinking that you need more of what you don't need, or you looking at things from a perspective that probably wasn't really your own. And that has to do with conditioning, possibly. So let's go ahead and get those cards. The card that has that in there. All right. You're seeing what really matters around, or something like that. Okay. But overall, I feel as though there's a new beginning for you. There's a new way of doing things. There's a lot of balance, a whole lot of balance coming in. But there's also a broken heart, like you are you are healing, right? Um, with this broken heart, this could easily be that um, something is being revealed to you intuitively or just overall, however it's being revealed to you, where you are accepting um, some type of loss, you're accepting some type of... Um, clarity that comes through that's heartbreaking you see clarify this broken heart guidance and slowing down see it's intuitive spiritual guidance and that's one of my favorite cards uh, with that guidance card because it's also a number three and they just want you to know that you're on the you're in the right space right you're um, on the right track you are um, there's going to be an um, influx of guidance that is going to be coming through overall, a lot of it. Because you got the moon card, the, the, the uh, crown chakra, as well as yin and yang. Ooh, somebody taking out the trash. But overall, this is you slowing down and taking your time. Taking time with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Being more present here um, will um, help you in the long run, right? This will help you in the long run. But I also see where you are in a space of you've received something. You have, um, maybe you are acknowledging the presence of growth in your life where you thought that things were stagnant, but you're finally beginning to see it and have and being in this space of deep gratitude and appreciation, realizing how far you've come um, through any type of challenging situations, knowing that any other challenges that come up with that one moving into that five, creating a six, this is balance. Um, balancing out what it is that you want how you're going to go about getting what it is that you want and moving forward. Um, there's something here to do with, uh, now I got Tibet in somebody's, I think it was Gemini, I got Tibet. But um, this is like something about a warrior. I get this from, I hope y'all can see it. Let me see. Okay, can y'all see the front of her uh, outfit? Okay. That's giving me warrior for some reason here today, okay? And that has a lot to do with you being able to make it through the things that you've made it through with little to no assistance. Well, so you think, right? Maybe you don't get a lot of human assistance, right? Clarify uh, these three cards. But now you're, you you got to figure it out. Yeah, you came out of this. Hmm? Eight of swords in reverse. You may have been in a, took, a, took some time to be... Um, where you weren't seeing things, you you couldn't see past your limitations, right? So you had to set new limitations or see things from a broader perspective. So that Eight of Swords in reverse is like you seeing um, things from, um, you saw where things were obscured. Your view was obscured. Your perception was obscured, right? Yeah. So this is you going into a space where you um, are taking time out to execute a plan before making this decision. Do you know that there's a decision that needs to be made? But before we even get to the decision that needs to be made, let's walk through these other cards. So you have envy and then the crown chakra, sacred knowledge. Um, this crown chakra could easily be the high priestess card in the traditional tarot, right? I never gave it, second, um, gave it thought, but maybe that's what it is. 
but this is a huge a massive download that is coming in and this is something that is showing you you so you may have a lot of uh, dreams or visions where you are seeing yourself outside of yourself right you're detaching I don't think that you're necessarily detaching I think that the way that it's being shown to you is like a movie right there's a lot of information that is coming through. Some of you will even see your angel, um, the angel um, that you were born with. Because our guides can change um, and the ancestral connection can change as well throughout our lifespan. But overall, I feel like your angel here or you just really seeing things. You may just start seeing and talking and being a yogi. Maybe y'all, some of y'all going through that part of the game right there. Okay. All right, so let's see here. But it's something about the your old patterns of behavior, your old ways of being that you are detaching from or seeing how certain people and situations attach to you when it comes to your crown, right? There may have even been where something is revealed to you right prior to this download. You're going to think that it's a download, but the download doesn't come until after you go through this um, energy here. So let's clarify this envy energy. Baby, they are loud. I apologize for that noise. But we're going to get through this, Virgo, because what they got going on out there. All right. What is this? What is this envy card chair for these Virgos, baby? Because they would got us fucked up outside trying to stop us. The three of wands. The three of wands in reverse. It came out in reverse. I'm going to leave it in reverse. This is, okay, so you want to be careful. Before you make a decision, you want to weigh uh, different viewpoints, but you need to make your own decision, which I know that y'all, that's what y'all going to do in tip way. Because the three of wands in, re, um, in reverse may be some bad advice, someone trying to reject your ideas, your dreams, um, trying to tell you that the person that you are with is not the person for It's like some type of deception when it comes to that. Here, at first thought, I thought it had a lot to do with how y'all were perceiving things. Now that we walked on through this uh, storyline, this has to do with um, uh, unsound business judgment. This has to do with like uh, bad luck that's trying to creep in, but you're going to see it before it even comes. That's why they put you in the space of gratitude. You are seeing um, some type of fruit, being um, bearing some type of fruit, bearing some type of witness here. Someone here may be bearing false witness, Chad. Woo! But overall, I'm seeing here that they want you to save your strength and energy for crucial battles. And so that's what you are doing as well. You're not um, giving any time, effort, or attention to things that do not have to do with this moon card, this uh, seventh chakra, or this yin and yang. Under this envy card is this attachment. I'm telling you, if you have anything that you need to, like, okay, let's, let's slow down. Okay, slow down. Cause I really do feel like <laughs> nobody me okay, but I really do feel like whatever this decision is that you make, it's going to have you're going to move into a space where things are going to begin to fall off of you. Things are going to begin to you're going to see where there was uh, some type of fucked up attachment that you had to certain people, places, and situations, but also certain patterns of behavior that have to do with those things. And you know that in order for you to balance out this masculine and feminine within, in order for you to just be in this receptive space where you um, are doing what you need to and how you need to, you have to break the chains, free yourself from this, which isn't going to take much because I feel like your mental power is very, very, very strong, okay? So let's, let's see. What is this uh, seven chakra, honey? This is a lot. This is temperance. This is you already seeing what you need to and how you need to be flexible in certain situations. This is you moving into a space of change and adaptation. You are able to adapt very, very easily, I see. There's also something here with you achieving balance and control over your emotions, over your mind. There's a you just being able to... Be in a space of patience and moderation and not forcing things or just, you know, being a Virgo. 
Okay, that's the Sagittarius card. So maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius here. But overall, this is a lot of experiences that you will be able to synthesize, a lot of information that is coming through that you will be able to balance out and move about so that you can make this decision that is coming about, right? This could even be you reconciling here or uh, coming to some type of reconciliation. But overall, I really do feel like this has to do with you having control over your own life. Okay, what is this indecision? Virgo taking out the trash. What is this indecision? Four of Swords. You are at this space where this personal battle ends. You are no longer looking at things from the perspective of <coughs> you against the world. It's you for the parts of the world that are open to you and what you have to offer, I feel. This has a lot to do with... Um, a truce or a break in fighting or or deciding not to fight and go against the grain and just really what do you need to do and asking for that assistance from the divine in a way that allows for you to um, really go into that space, right? All right. I don't know if y'all can hear that really though. I just heard it. It's loud to me. But um, this is you letting your guard down when it comes to making a decision here. But they want you to be very mindful um, because there's a lot, like like I've told everybody else, and I've been telling y'all this all year, right? But overall, this is the, this is the, the final uh, countdown of the year. So you want to be very mindful of what you are giving your attention to, what you are putting your intention into. At this time, with you taking this four of swords, you're doing it right on time, I feel. You can let your guard down because you're going to be in the space of peace and quiet that fo that's followed by a lot of action. Eventually, I don't feel like it's going to be very active when it comes to you going through this change of how you perceive yourself and others. I don't feel like it's going to do, uh, and especially with this balance that is coming in as well. You just really evening out who you are, what you give your time, effort, and attention to. But overall, any stress that you've gone through, I feel like that's what's being pulled from you, right? That's what you are that's what you are healing. <laughs> bring it on up. Bring it on up here. But that's what you are healing from, right? After a time, you just really took some time in to mentally prepare for the next level of your life or this next thing that is coming through because they already showed you here what it is that is coming through. And you are very, very, very connected. So I don't see any issues with what is coming through for you. What is this attachment? What is this attachment for my beautiful Virgo? Seven of Pentacles. There's a huge, there's like, you are really looking at what um, has helped you and what has hindered you. What has been of assistance and what has been a uh, pestilence, right? Um, I'm seeing here that you're just taking into account, you know, auditing your the moves that you've made, the things that you've done. This may even be financial inventory. Something to do with you assessing your progress towards your future. What is going to bring you results in the future? What is happening? Happening in the long run, right? Um, making sure that you plan and move carefully after whatever this is that is revealed to you. Like whatever it is y'all went through, like y'all deserve a break. The fuck? The virgins. Clarify the seven of pentacles. Ten of swords. It's over, baby. You are really um, bottoming out when it comes to what it is that um, maybe this was mental exhaustion or just this is a cycle that is overdone, dead finito. Okay, I know a little Spanish. Now, there's um, something here that you are seeing when it comes to how you um, handle situations, how you handle opposition, how you handle um any anything that you've been through it's like you are at the end of it and you are assessing this to for like this is exactly what it is this is how it began and this was the mid part this was the climax and then this is how it ended and now when i need to um when i see this coming in any other way or any other um, yeah any other way i'll be able to um, better fend myself or be able to better safeguard what the work that i put in right <clears throat> this may have even been that your home life or your job, something there may have been some type of disruption here.
you are knowing that no matter what it is that you put your time, effort, and attention into, there will always be something that tries to, number. this is a number five, try to cord with you, try to pull you back into those old patterns. But you are seeing it for what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is this uh, yin and yang, honey? I'm hungry. What is this yin and yang, Chad? The two of swords. You're not making any type of major major choices when it comes here. You're waiting for even further guidance. A lot of y'all are just in flow, okay? Y'all are in flow. It's like um, you are trying to, you're in the space where they're opening up your heart because you may have closed off your heart or refusing to see something, but they're going to reveal it to you. So there's no, there's going to be few, you, you may not have a lot of action in your life. This may be when the tide goes out and you just feel dry and just feel like you're just here. That's part of your gathering stage. That's part of you being pulled away from the world, pulled into isolation so that you can figure out, realize, visualize, analyze what needs to be seen by your true eye. Thank you. This is you coming out of denial once they um, bring you in this balance for you. You are coming out of denial and realizing what needs to be. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. There y'all go. Yeah. You go up in the ethers and come on back down to earth. And it's like whatever this is, like you may be um, having a baby or coming out of postpartum depression when it comes to having a child. And you are in this space of really doting on, making a choice, right, to heal for the betterment of the child. But overall, this is um, you being and, you know, showing your loyalty and being loyal in a way that you are showing more appreciation for people who you really hold near and dear to you. Right. Um, I also feel that this may be that you are you um, went into that space, that yin and yang space. They had to get you um, in isolated so that you could organize, so that you could pull things together, so that you could see things for what they are. Now that you've moved into this um, heightened sense of awareness, this heightened sense of um, authority, this this heightened sense of leadership, this heightened sense of serving others, you see. Um, yeah. This may even be that someone is communicating with you. Someone may be bringing you some type of present uh, here. You may be receiving something here uh, based on your emotional barriers here. You may be receiving something that changes your mind on how you view mothers, motherhood, um, nurturing energy overall, you see. You may even have a choice between jobs, right? Do you want to be self-employed or do you want to work for someone else? Um, who can care for your children? Who can care for your cat? I don't know where a cat came from. Okay. But I do feel as though you are very um, grounded at this time after being up in the ethers for quite some time. Crown chakra, moon card. Um, I also feel that there is something that is being revealed to you when you are out out and about late at night, possibly moon gazing, stargazing, or what have you. Really quick. What do you have for Virgos here, please? And thank you. Your home is protected. That's Xana. Rochelle is here, says, as, as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you. You have Desiree here. Conditions aren't fair right now, so you just need to look into other options, look into deeper. Um, yeah, and then you got children here. Somebody may be getting a divorce or um, saying no to marriage, but there's a lot of psychic um, experiences that are coming through as well. Many of you are realizing that you are a spiritual teacher and how that works in the in the job or your occupation. So you may even be gathering more information about how to um, do this. Bring it together. That's what they're going to say. All right. Y'all waited long enough for me to do this and I just did it for you.